It is a fitting tribute to an Antiguan who molded hundreds, possibly thousands of young minds, and on Wednesday, the Ministry of Education renamed the Bolands Primary School in honor of former principal, the late S.R. Olivia David. Daughter Nora David unveiled the sign that bears the name of her mother during a Thanksgiving and renaming ceremony marking the school's 77th anniversary. Minister of Education, Youth, Sports and Gender Affairs Dr. Jackie Quinn Leandro says her ministry endorses the renaming of the institution. The Ministry of Education is delighted to be associated with this auspicious event in the life of Boland's Primary School. Shows that on this day, March 12, 1973, the principal and students marched down from the old school site, west of this site, into this new location to begin lessons in a newly constructed structure. Among those in attendance were Parliamentary Representative Hilson Baptiste and ALP candidate for the area, Senator Samantha Marshall. This year, we have three teachers on it, Mr. General. <coughs> and next year, we have two more to go. Because they must be recognized. They must be come back in the community and become role models to other teachers and other educators. And that's what's very important for me. I just want to congratulate the Bolands Primary School. And I know that it has been quite a journey. And I also want to commend them on making this step of renaming the school after Sarah Rebecca Olivia David. I think that is um, truly an indication of the, the community appreciating um, the contribution as made by that principal throughout the year. So I want to say to <coughs> staff, the principal and staff, the students, of the Bolands Primary School, now known as the SR Olivia David Primary School. Congratulations. Former teacher Rosalind Moraine gives further insight into SR Olivia David. She was the fifth of seven children. Her father was from Rose's Estate, and her mother was from Green Bay. Her father died at age 40 years, when she was only 9 years old. Her mother struggled on with the rearing of children. Eventually, in the 1920s, she was employed as a teacher in keeping with the education regulations of the day. First, at the St. John's Boys School, under the late Mr. T. N. Kernan, and after that, at St. John's Girls School, under the late Mary E. During these years, she wrote a teacher examination and became a qualified, certified teacher. Celebrations to mark the school's 77th anniversary are being held under the theme, We've Come This Far by Faith. Phil George, ABS News.